Yeah. Feel like the car is adjusting itself. Yeah. So you go like real tight on the freeway, and you get a way high off roading. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Well, that was awesome. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Bill Hensley. And unless you've been living under a rock for the past few days, Tesla, you know, the company that brought you sexy, just unveiled the Cybertruck. And the thing is friggin' awesome. Now, I'm not just saying that because it bears some resemblance to my all-time favorite vehicle over here, but the Cybertruck has some pretty impressive specs to it. And it's coming in at a price point that I think is going to be very competitive in the full-size pickup truck market. I think one of the most important things Tesla is doing right now is that they are setting the bar when it comes to electric vehicles. A lot of other vehicle manufacturers are starting to realize that EVs are here to stay. And because of that, some are starting to play ball. So what are some of the things that I find fascinating about the Cybertruck, aside from its design? Love it or hate it, the Cybertruck is built to last. Much like the DeLorean was, which came before it almost 40 years ago, the Cybertruck features beautiful stainless steel panels. This is the same material that Elon Musk is using right next door over at SpaceX, and it's just one of the reasons why the Cybertruck will hold up well over the years. The panels are so durable that one can even hit it with a sledgehammer and it doesn't even leave a scratch. Although I wouldn't recommend whaling on your $40,000 plus vehicle anytime soon, it was a decent demonstration of how well the truck will hold up over the years. A demonstration that didn't go over quite as planned, however, was Tesla's armor glass. Although they had no issues throwing metal balls at the windows backstage prior to the event, I'm glad that they showed how durable the glass really is with a sheet of it off to the side. I believe the structural integrity had already been compromised given the amount of abuse it had already gone through backstage. Either way you look at it, the Cybertruck is still more durable than your everyday pickup, and I continued to remain engaged throughout the rest of the presentation. When it came time to show off the six and a half foot long bed of the truck, I was simply amazed at how the retractable bed cover functions and the ease at which it opens and exposes the bed. I also appreciate the built-in bed ramp, as this will make loading things into the truck so much easier. But getting back to that cover, the fact that this comes standard is a big deal because when you're not using the bed of the truck, you can simply close it up for better aerodynamics and efficiency. That's huge. One thing that may have got overlooked by some was the onboard power outlets. With all the talk about wildfires in Northern California lately and the power being shut off to hundreds of thousands by PG&E, I've been itching to do a video about electric cars and the benefits of V2H systems. I just haven't had the time to sit down and do a proper video on the subject, but with the Cybertruck offering both 110 volt and 220 volt power outlets on board, you essentially have a power wall on wheels. This one feature alone makes me want to get a Cybertruck a hundred times more. So, is Bill Hensley going to be getting a Cybertruck, you may be asking yourself. I would love to get a Cybertruck. But unfortunately, I'm still making payments on the Chevrolet Bolt EV that I inherited after the divorce. Now, if you would like to see me get behind the wheel of a Cybertruck, there is a way we could make this happen. <laughs> I'm definitely not the first one to think of this, and I'm probably not going to be the last one. As I've been putting together this video for you, I've had a couple of ideas, and one of them was, why don't I just start a GoFundMe page? <laughs> I mean, what Tesla's got like 200,000 reservations if everybody who has reserved a cyber truck right now could donate just one dollar to my cause <laughs> uh yeah that would that would more than uh clear me on getting a cyber truck actually i when i put together the uh gofundme page i did put the ceiling quite high and it you might be asking yourself like well Cybertruck doesn't cost $150,000, and no, it doesn't. And I know it's uh, wishful thinking, but if I could get to that goal of $150,000, then I would, 
not only could I be able to afford any one of the trim levels of the Cybertruck, but I could also pay off my mortgage. <laughs> and trust me, I know it's a long shot, but this is, it's just a dream. Uh, if I could, one, not have a car payment, and two, not have a mortgage, then I could probably make YouTube my full-time job. <laughs> I know, it's, it's a dream, it's a long shot, but I figured, eh, what the heck. So, yeah, if you would like to see Bill Hensley get behind the wheel of a Cybertruck, then head on over to my GoFundMe page and donate a dollar or two. <laughs> Anyways, I appreciate everyone taking the time to check out this video, and I hope the Cybertruck does well. It's, it is a very impressive vehicle, at least I think so. And you know who else who thinks it's an impressive vehicle? My boy who just turned five the other day. Yes, that was his expression when he saw the Cybertruck roll onto the stage for the first time. He was simply amazed. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. I know towards the end here I started daydreaming a lot, but just the same, I enjoy making these videos, and if I could do it full time, I would. So anyways, until next time, I'll be back.